Hi, I'm Martin from vMix and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use the new dual production clocks feature in vMix 20. This is my vMix 20 user interface. To enable the production clocks, I simply click settings and go to the options tab. And you'll see a tick box here to enable the production clocks within the transition display area, which is this area within the interface right here. Now, I can uh, untick some of those options if I want to free up space for a low resolution monitor, but we have a full HD display here for the demo, so I'm just going to simply tick the production clocks tick box and click OK. And this will now display the production clocks within the user interface right here. Now I can double click that to configure it. And you'll see here there's two options. The first clock is the top clock and the two is the one on the bottom. So we see the first one has the type set to recording and the second one has its type set to clock. See, there's four different options I can display for these clocks. I can display the clock, which is the current time. I can display an event. I can display the recording. And I can display the streaming durations. So let's click the first clock and let's configure this for an event. An event allows you to specify a start and an end time for your production. So we've selected here 11.30 a.m. and our end time we've selected as 12 p.m. Now if I click OK, this will now show how much time is remaining until the event starts. You see here it says 1 minute and 14 seconds. I can also customize the precision of any of these clocks. So I could show fractions of a second or I could show minutes like so. Now when the duration clock or the event clock is less than a minute, it will show fractions of a second automatically. And you can see here now it's showing a progress bar also, which is a handy indicator of how much time we have left before the start of the production. I can also click create input and create an input within the production like so. And this can be assigned to the multi-view output and it can also be used as an NDI output to display anywhere on the local network. There's also a couple of other options I can configure with a production clock. I can invert the colors so that it has a white background. Uh, I can also select a hour offset when using the clock. So I could tick this to enable AM or PM and I can also set an hour offset. So I'll say over here it's now plus 10 GMT, but I can add one hour to the time to show the GMT plus 10. And you can configure this negatively as well to show GMT plus nine or any time you like so that this clock can show a different time zone if needed. So that's just a quick overview of the production clock features in vMix 20. You can download a free 60-day unwatermarked trial by visiting us on our website at www.vmix.com. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix tutorial.